just finished doing the application um, of this new foundation that I am trying. It's L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Um, and it has uh, it's SPF 20 and it, the color is I think this is C8. C8 and here is the bottle bottle right here comes with the little plastic top and it has a pump to it and I saw another um, girl Tamara shade 3 using doing a review on this and I wanted to try it because I was looking for I already use drugstore foundations I use the Maybelline um, Maybelline stay I think that's what it's called Maybelline hold on hold on hold on yeah, it's the Maybelline Super Stay, and this is in this is in Coco, and I wanted to try another drugstore foundation. This is good, but it's kind of it feels kind of heavy, so I just want to try you know another um, drugstore foundation. And drugstore foundations are really really um, coming up. I still wear the Mac, the Studio uh, Fix the NW45, but it's kind of costly. And if I can find something else to do the same thing then you know I'm willing to juggle around with that a little bit so as far as right now I just applied it um, as you saw and it's nice coverage it's, it's kind of not too heavy I don't have to really put that much but it's like medium medium coverage but it's nice and lightweight it's not I don't know it's not um it, it doesn't feel heavy at all. And with the Maybelline, I usually have to put a pressed powder on top of it. I'm sure if I was going out, I would still have to put a pressed powder on top of it. But it's smooth. It's nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. And it blends in with the color of my neck and everything. So for right now, it's it's, it's a plus for me. And this is in um, the color C8. And you know what? The good thing about it is on the L'Oreal Paris website, if you wear like MAC or Clinique or any of those kind of makeups, you can, they have an um, a option where you can choose the type of makeup that you wear and then the color, you can choose the color in the, uh, and they'll match their foundation to the color of the makeup, the high-end makeup that you wear. So it'll help you um, find your color a little bit better and I think that's a, I think that's a thumbs up. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to do just like a quick little review on the, the True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. This is the foundation in color C8. Also, I am wearing the Model Model Braided uh, Lace Front Wig in Frencha, color number one. It's um, curling on safe up to 400 degrees. I wanted a wig that I didn't have to wear out all the time that I can maybe put back in a braid or in a ponytail or whatever. And it has like the little baby hairs in the back. So if I wanted to put it up, it, you know, it'll just look like I have my hair up with a little bit of hair out in the back. And it's braided now and I have it just, just have it braided like this in the back. Um, I like it so far. Of course, it's a lace front, but you know, I pull a little bit of my edges out so that it'll blend in. A little bit more. I don't know if you can see it really good because my lighting is not that well in here. But I just pull my just pull out just a little bit of my edges so that the lace doesn't show. So I don't have to be all the way down here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not for all that. That's not my type of thing. What I like to do. So um yeah. So this is it braided up. And when I come back, I will show you a finished look. Um, you see, I've applied my foundation. I have my. I did my brows first, of course. Um, just highlighted them with, I just combed them up and filled them in a little bit with um, with this brown pencil. And then I highlighted them with, this is a MAC um, concealer. This is an NW40. Right here. And I just went under them. I didn't go on top because sometimes 
I don't know. By me letting my brows grow in now, it kind of, I don't know, I don't like the look when I highlight them at the top sometimes. So, I just did it like that. Anyways, when I come back, I will let you see the full look. With, I will let you see how the wig looks with it down. Okay? Okay, here I am back with the hair um, <clears throat> let down. It's just kind of, it's similar to the, um, to the red carpet one that I did the last review on and the, in the video before this one. It's just like really loose curls and it's really long. Um, but I like it. I just put a little, just some edge control at the top. I didn't really, really, really blend it in too much because I'm going to take it right back off. But just wanted to give you an idea of what it, of what it looked like when it's, when it's let down. I'm just looking in the mirror. Because I really, I really wasn't playing with it too much. Um, yep, so that's it. That's it right there. And again, this is the model model braided lace front wig. Okay. And I will put some um post some still pictures up at the end. I haven't put anything else on it yet. And also remember what I said in the last video. Um the young lady at the beauty supply told me that I could use this just in case it tangles up or anything like that. I can always use this and it'll work and I use it on the other one and it works pretty good so this, and this this is um this can be used on weaves wigs and human hair also yeah so that's it right there and it's not like oh this is like six dollars okay so I guess it's worth it uh, on my lips just a little bit of this wine colored um just this wine colored liner mm, by NK. It's in plum, it says. And then this lipstick in lavender tint. That's the color by NK also on the inside. And that's about it, you guys. Just wanted to come do a review on those two products. Um, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and the French Braid Model Model Wig. Alright, I guess that's it. Until my next video. Oh yeah, I do. I have to come back because I have to announce that giveaway. I think I already have a winner. And I'm going to announce that. And yeah, that's it. So until next time guys, y'all be easy. Um, Facebook, Boldness LLC. Instagram, Boldness. And um email bonus llc at gmail.com um you already know negative comments i don't even play with them i just ignore them and keep moving so if you're gonna put something negative you show sure wasting a whole lot of energy because i'm not gonna respond to them okay later